Hey, it's James Mulvaney today back with another video on radio. And today I want to talk about the underdog that is the radio producer. Now, radio producers are crucial. Fundamentally, the producer will sometimes be completely off air, e.g. you may never hear them speak on the radio. But more and more these days, we're hearing radio producers kind of getting involved and in part of the show. Um, so they might be kind of like a second voice or a second opinion alongside the main presenter. But what does a radio producer do? And um, what's the point of having a radio producer? That's what I wanted to dive into today. And in a little bit, we're also going to be talking to Sheena from Foundation.fm, uh, who is a radio producer. She is their main producer. She focuses on creating a lot of their content output. So I really wanted to quiz her on what makes a good producer and kind of get some insider tricks. So, sounds good, let's get straight to today's video. So, if you're new to this channel, my name is James Mulvaney. I'm an entrepreneur. I've been working in the radio industry for the last 15 years, helping lots of people launch radio stations and get results uh, with their radio stations and podcasts. I'm founder of radio.co, podcast.co and matchmaker.fm, all doing really interesting things in the audio spaces. So you can go and check them out if you like. Uh, and also really passionate about helping people launch their radio careers and get established with online radio stations. Now, as I mentioned, radio producers, really crucial to the radio industry. So fundamentally, what does a producer do? They are responsible for things like drafting the contents of a show. So when you listen to the radio, you hear a presenter and they might be talking about specific things at different times of the show. It's normally the producer's job to say, okay, this is what the show is gonna look like today. You know, say at 8 p.m. we're gonna be doing, you know, whatever, we're gonna be doing a news bulletin or we're gonna be talking about a local event, we're gonna be talking about a festival or a concert or whatever it might be that the, you're talking about at that specific time. So it's really the producer's job first and foremost to dictate what is gonna be the output of that show. But the involvement of a producer really is much more detailed than that. They might be pitching ideas for shows themselves. They might be coming up with ideas for competitions. It's really the creative input that goes into a radio show or running a radio station that the producer is mainly responsible for. It can be a really interesting and varied job. So whenever you're listening to the radio and you might hear a crazy feature or uh, some call-in thing or something that's going on within the show, it's quite often the producer who will have actually concepted that idea and come up with it. And it's the presenter or the host's job to then actually present that and kind of make it sound uh, make it sound cool, make it sound exciting. It's really just their job to take the idea and actually turn it into reality. That's the difference between a radio presenter, or radio host, or on-air talent, or whatever you want to call them, and then the producer. But as I mentioned, the crossover between the two these days is um, a lot more common. I think in the old days, you'd pro quite often get a producer who was sat literally in another room behind another piece of glass talking on like a talk back to the, the radio presenter in the studio uh, and they almost would be like completely separated. Nowadays, more than often, the producer the presenter are sat in the same room together um, in the same studio, just talking face to face. And quite often the producer, as I mentioned earlier, will actually be part of the show nowadays as well. The producer will often have meetings with station management. So for example, if the station management are trying to push a particular artist or you know they're running a big competition or they're running uh, having issues with a certain type of advertiser or whatever the producer will ultimately feed that information back into the show so making sure that the output of the show that they're responsible for or the shows that they're responsible for are kind of in line with what the management are trying to achieve in terms of the business model of that radio station so again really really important um, obviously if you've got a sponsor who's coming in saying look we're supporting this show you need to make sure that the content of the show is really in line with what the sponsor is trying to achieve as well. So again, the producer's job sometimes is to link the commercial aspects of the radio station to the kind of the creativity, the fun aspects, what you want to hear as a listener, and even sometimes the music itself as well. The other thing that producers spend a lot of their time doing these days that people perhaps might not consider is the behind the scenes stuff. So I'm talking about like editing. So perhaps the show has a podcast or you're kind of clipping out sections of the best bits of the show for social media or updating the social media channel while the show is actually going on. Again, a lot of these responsibilities will often fall down to the producer or sometimes the assistant producer. Some reason might have an intern who's working alongside them or someone who's more uh, of a junior level. Again, just like with a lot of roles in, in different industries, producers, you can have executive producers who are generally responsible for multiple shows across the station, the producers who are working on each individual show and things like assistant producers or assistants uh, or, or tech ops 
or admins who are kind of more responsible for the individual components of a show itself. So different layers, uh, and again, the, the bigger radio companies will have more layers of management. Smaller radio stations, you might have one producer who's sitting across multiple shows. And quite a lot of the time with small radio stations, the presenter as well is sometimes also the producer. So, so you might be producing your own show if you're a presenter or a host, which basically means you're kind of responsible for manning the ship, driving it forward, repairing it, doing everything uh, that there is to do with the ship, um, which can again become quite involved. So what I thought I'd do now is talk to Sheena, who is a producer for Foundation FM, a fabulous station uh, that we work with in London. They are a predominantly female-led radio station, and we went and met them last summer. They've got a really cool setup down there. So here's what Sheena had to say about the role of a radio producer. So my name is Sinead Brooks, and I'm a producer here at Foundation FM, the female-led radio station, which is on air 10 a.m. till 10 p.m. Monday to Friday. So day to day, I, you know, create content. I'm like, I call myself the annoying or un not cool auntie who's just in the room making sure everything goes to plan. I schedule, I book guests in, I'm just like everyone's like right hand really if they need anything and a bit of everything really. My secret sauce is to just not stress too much like with radio it's so fast paced that every day it's normal to stress and really just take a step back. We're not saving lives we're here to have fun so and I find in radio everything does fall into place so just not to stress too much and be organized as much as you can but don't over organize because there's days I over organize and then everybody you know you get a guest that cancels or something like that and you're like oh there was me being over organized and now I don't need to do that anymore but yeah secret sauce don't stress My thing is to tell them, you know, you kind of talk them through their first links and then I kind of say, you know, just act like you're talking to me. We're friends now, let's go for it together. And then after like the second link, third link, you usually find that people forget they're on radio and they are just having fun, so. Just good energy and good energy doesn't always mean like the loudest or the funniest or the quickest it's just being like fully yourself and knowing what it is that you want to achieve in your show so if it is you want to show about just music knowledge make sure you are the one that has the best music knowledge or if you just want to do a show where it's high energy then come with that high energy but just be like 100% yourself and naturally you'll just fall into it and go with the flow and like listeners will hear that and that's what will make them engage. Mm, advice would be make sure to do like your research like don't just go to a radio station and be like I want to be on air like why do you want to be on air and why do you want to be on that radio station so even if it's only listening to one or two shows find one that stands out to you so then when you're then emailing those stations the person reading will be like oh okay they actually rate us they don't just want to be on air because there's so many people that want to do radio but you then ask him a question about radio and they're like oh i don't know and it's like but what are your reasons for wanting to do radio then so i think definitely just do your research and really find what the reasons are why you want to do radio and if you do want to do radio what kind of radio do you want to do and then go search out for that specific type What I love um, is just how it's, it is a safe space. Like sometimes you don't really realise that until you're having a conversation. And I was saying how many times we've come into work and do you want to cry or sad? And here you can do that and not be judged for it. Not saying I come in every day and cry, but um, you like, you're not judged for it. We all just talk about, and if you have an issue here, it's not your issue, it's everyone's issue. Like we'll figure it out together so no one should stress. Like. 
we do that with like presenters, producers, we don't want, there's no need, we're meant to be having fun in radio, so there's definitely that. So you can listen in on foundation.fm, you should also check out our Instagram um, because we're always telling you what's going on and what guests we have and on our Twitter and just stay in the loop to know what's happening, so yeah. So I had a really great time chatting to foundation.fm last summer, be sure to go and check them out, um, they are doing some really interesting things. And thanks for Sheena for talking through her role and giving us some tips and advice on what she does on a day-to-day -day basis. I think production and going into radio as a producer, fascinating. You know, there's some really interesting things you can do. It allows you to express yourself creatively and bring some really cool ideas to the table. Radio shows would not be as good without producers. I'm curious to know if you're a radio producer or if you're thinking about going to radio uh, in a behind the scenes capacity, let me know in the comments below. Or if you've got any tips for people who want to go into radio as a producer, you know, let me know in the comments. More videos like this coming soon. So remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed this and also press subscribe and turn on your little notification bell for updates when I release videos just like this one. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now. Hey, I'm James, founder of radio.co. Before you go anywhere, I've got an interesting question for you. Do you know the difference between a radio station that launches and becomes very successful, gets lots of listeners and does very well, and a radio station that perhaps kind of doesn't launch very well and disappears within a few months, doesn't really get much attention. Well, I've put together a checklist which will illustrate to you in a very simple way the five key differences between radio stations that launch do well versus radio stations that launch and kind of disappear. You can download your free copy over at radio.co slash checklist today. Find out exactly how you can make the most out of your radio station. That's radio.co slash checklist. Go and grab your free copy. I'll see you there.